Good day, everyone. Today, let's be talking about writing abstract in research paper. So in this video lesson, we will talk about the things that should be included in abstract. Are you ready? But before that, let us first identify the different parts of a research paper. This include the title, the author, abstract, introduction, methods, results and discussions, conclusions, and references. Let us study the different parts of a research paper with an example. And on the screen is an example of a research paper. The first part is the title or the research title. In our example, the title is Learning Pedagogies in Teaching Integrated Science, Input for a Faculty Development Plan. So the title is written on top of the research paper. Below the title is the author. In this example, the author is Florence Pagaduan Alicante. So author is the one who writes the article or the research paper. If there are multiple authors, say for example, two or more authors, just write all the names of the authors separated by a comma. Below the author is the abstract. Abstract is the summary of the content of your research paper or research article. And usually, abstract consists of 250 words. You heard it right, 250, 250 words. So what if your abstract exceeded the number of words? Well, what you can do is consider paraphrasing some of the sentences in order to make it exactly 250 words. Now, let us identify what are the things that should be written in abstract. Are you ready? Abstract should contain the objective of your study. Objective of the study is the one that you want to achieve in conducting your research. For example, this study aimed to determine the effectiveness of learning pedagogies in teaching science. Looking back at your experiment, you can state, this study aimed to determine the effect of gray water on the growth of moon plant. In your abstract, the research design should also be included. The research design refers to the strategy that you employ in order to achieve the objective of your study. In our example, research design is stated as the quantitative design was used. Aside from the objective, research design, methods should also be included in your abstract. So methods refers to the techniques in collecting data. Common methods include surveys, experiments, interviews, and observations. So you may also describe the sample and the sampling technique. For example, in our example here, the methods here are a validated questionnaire was distributed to the 24 grade 9 science teachers in the division of Paranaque. And a final grade in science for the past three grade levels were taken from the 1,402 out of 4,965 grade 10 students who were both selected through a purposive sampling technique. So the technique, the sample, the sampling technique, okay, and a validated questionnaire, the instrument use. So these are all included in the methods. Now, if you are doing an experimental research, you may include here the materials and the procedure that you use. So you can also describe here the setup. Say, for example, you use control and experimental groups, then you explain here how did you do your experiment with the control and the experimental group also included in the abstract are the findings of your research study so discuss in this part the summary of the findings of your study as well as the treatment or the statistical analysis that you employ so in our example the findings and statistical analysis are highlighted with color yellow so it states here, 
Majority of the respondents were young in the teaching profession for 6 to 10 years now and have attended 1 to 5 seminars or training. Findings of the study disclose that the respondents sometimes used the learning pedagogies mean as equal to 3.25 with inquiry-based learning as the dominant pedagogy used, mean is equal to 3.59 and technology-based learning least use mean is equal to 2.85. Pearson R, statistical analysis. I repeat, Pearson R showed that these learning pedagogies were moderately effective on a student's academic performance. Mean is equal to 81.33, with technology-based learning as the most effective. Likewise, there was a weak negative relationship between academic performance and pedagogy. Now, looking back again to your experiment, you can discuss here the average mean, the mean of the height of your control and experimental groups. Include also the implication of your research. So implication of research explains what the findings of the study mean for policy making and for group of people or other researchers. So in our example here, so based on the findings of the study, a faculty development plan was proposed. Finally, include the keywords. Keywords are important words of discovering what search terms your target audience is entering in search engines. So in our example here, keywords include academic performance, pedagogy, science, students, and teachers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell to watch more videos. Have a great day.